The armed forces of the Russian Federation continue the special military operation, operational tactical aviation, missile troops and artillery of the armed forces of the Russian Federation have neutralized 86 Ukrainian artillery units at their firing positions, manpower and military equipment in 92 areas. One munition depot of the Ukrainian 127th Territorial Defense Brigade has been destroyed near Izbitskoye in Kharkov region. Fighter aircraft of the Russian Aerospace Forces has shot down one MiG-29 airplane of the Ukrainian Air Force near Koptimo in Donetsk People's Republic. One Ukrainian Mi-8 helicopter has been shot down near Novoselovka in Donetsk People's Republic. Air defense facilities have intercepted nine Hymers and Smirch rocket-propelled projectiles. In addition, five Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicles have been shot down near Valerianovka in Donetsk People's Republic, Gulai Pole and Novo Ukrainskoye in Zaporozhye region, as well as Krynki in Kherson region. In total, 405 airplanes, 228 helicopters, 3,630 unmanned aerial vehicles, 415 air defense missile systems, 8,497 tanks and other armored fighting vehicles, 1,077 fighting vehicles equipped with MRLS, 4,478 field artillery cannons and motors, as well as 9,247 units of special military equipment have been destroyed during the special military operation. The other side, Ukraine Defense Ministry in a statement said Russia lost 630 servicemen in a single day, including one tank, four armored fighting vehicles as well as one MLRS units and two special equipment. In total, Kremlin lost 173,990 servicemen during the conflict including 3,616 tanks, 6,981 armored fighting vehicles as well as 306 jet fighters and 291 helicopters. Russia and Ukraine conflict lasts for 402 days. There is still no peace agreements between two sides. Ukrainian side also shows footage of destroying the enemy SPG-9, Spice, along with ammunition. And they also damaged the enemy Mortar 2B9, Vasilok. Our gunners performed a combat mission with the help of the British L-119 gun, said Ukraine military in official statement. President of Ukraine Volodymyr thanks to everyone who defends Ukraine from Russia occupier. Justice for our state, for all our people who lost relatives, loved ones, lost health, home, and normal life due to Russian aggression, due to the terror of the occupier, Zelensky said. Terima kasih sudah nonton. Jangan lupa like, subscribe, dan share ya. Thank <laughs> you.